Definitely a lot of confused faces as we make our way through town. It's not exactly high season for tourism here. We have spent the last few weeks making our way through Myanmar. Our adventures began in Yangon, then we continued to Mandalay, Inli Lake, Kala, and Bagan. With our visas set to run out soon, we wanted to get one more place checked off before we leave this incredible country, which is why today we're heading off the beaten path to the small town of Pien U Luen. We have just arrived in this charming little mountain town of Pien U Luen, which is about an hour and a half outside of Mandalay. It's kind of a quieter side of Myanmar. There's supposed to be some great hiking, some beautiful waterfalls, a little charming downtown area. And it's just nice to see a different part of the country. Yeah, it was nice. It was definitely like a long winding drive up here because I think we're at like 3,500 feet in elevation. So not crazy high, but definitely up there. And yeah, we're excited to get exploring. We got a cute little hotel kind of in the middle of the downtown area and right now I think our first order of business is food. So when you come to a smaller town like this it can be a little bit harder for us to find good places to eat. We try and go for what has the best Google reviews and the most Google reviews and so that's kind of how we pick the place we're heading to now which by the way has 14 Google reviews. <laughs> actually really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a retro burger joint in the U.S. Um, like the outside's pink and red. It's got these old school kind of like tables and got a good menu so hopefully the food's good. Oh yeah, the food is good. Alright guys, good morning. Today we are going to grab some bikes from our hotel and head to an organic coffee farm. Places. There's just some loose cows in the middle of the road. <laughs> Normally we see accompanied cows, but these ones are just free range. Definitely a lot of confused faces as we make our way through town. It's not exactly high season for tourism here. Uh, and with the whole coronavirus thing going on, there's even fewer tourists than usual. So when they see us rolling around, it's like, who are you guys? Where did you come from? How are you liking the bike ride so far? It's good, we're stopping like every five minutes because we've seen like stagecoaches with horses, these beautiful like flower gardens that make the whole street smell like perfume and uh, it's a pretty ride. It is a pretty ride. I'm happy that it's in the shade and the road's nice. The road is like one of the best roads in Myanmar, so <laughs> good luck today. Uh-oh, veering off. So we just popped by the National Landmark Gardens, which looks incredibly beautiful, but they want four US dollars per person to go in. We're noticing that's a common theme with places here in Pien Uluwen, that they charge pretty exorbitant entrance fees for foreigners, especially when you consider what things normally cost here in Myanmar. This place is so cute. They've got like this bright red little farmhouse on the front. I can see the area in the back where they're growing stuff. Oh, we're gonna have fun here. Thank you. So the entrance fee is 2,500 per person, but it includes like organic coffee and juice and fruit and cupcakes. So, I mean, it's actually a total deal. So the $2,500 entry fee seems even fairer when we see what we get. Yeah, we get a lovely little snack spread to go with our coffee, which is a big old latte too. So I'm tickled to be here. I mean, the, the atmosphere is incredible in this cute little farmhouse and we have snacks. We have cookies, not just any <laughs> snacks. When's the last time you had a foamy coffee? I don't even remember. That might be the best coffee I've had in upwards of three months. So 
So all throughout Southeast Asia, we've seen these crazy looking vines and we've had no idea what they are. And I'm so happy to be here because there's a sign that tells us it's dragon fruit, which is incredibly delicious. This is so cool. Where in the world are you from? We are from San Diego. Woohoo! The 10 benefits of organic food. No chemicals and pesticides. Slow aging. Reduce heart diseases. really cool because in addition to the dragon fruit that they grow here, I've also seen strawberries, lettuce, garlic, just a bunch of different stuff. And I love that they have a hydroponic strawberry garden. That's just so cool. <laughs> Fun fact about Jack, when we finally settle down and have a permanent residence, <laughs> he always talks about wanting a hydroponic garden. morning here in Tianhuan. So we're gonna head to the local market, which is just down the street from our hotel, hang out there for a little bit, and then we have a train to catch back to Mandalay this afternoon. I'm very curious how this train experience goes because we've read online that it can be extremely late and unreliable, so we have our fingers crossed. There's definitely a lot of raw meat and raw fish being sold here. It's definitely aromatic, to say the least. So we recently read something that says, nobody waves, but everybody waves back. I think this is the perfect place to test it out. <laughs> Everyone's staring at these two <laughs> Westerners walking through, so let's uh, give them something to smile about. <laughs> I think my waving is slightly more effective than Jack's waving for whatever reason. <laughs> so, we made it to the train station, but in a strange turn of events, when we went to go buy our tickets, the guy told us, no, you can't buy them right now. You have to come back and buy your tickets once the train has arrived, even though he had just sold someone else a ticket for a train that leaves tomorrow. We have finally made it back to our hotel here in Mandalay. That train ride took over four hours and it's only 41 miles, so it really is just like another 10 mile an hour train. <laughs> it was like painfully slow, um, but it's so good to be here. And I'm glad that we got to see like a smaller town in Myanmar, but honestly, there just wasn't that much to do there. So if you do go, maybe spend like one night there and know that they do like try and like charge pretty big entrance fees to like do almost everything in town, which can be kind of like, I don't know, annoying. Yeah, taxis and tuk-tuks and stuff like that are by far the most expensive there compared to anywhere else we've been in Myanmar. So if you're gonna go, I would personally do a day trip or just an overnight like Gab said. But I'm still glad we went. It was really beautiful. And that is our last stop in Myanmar. It's been real special being here. We are for sure going to have a video where we give all of our impressions about the surprising things about this country. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Yep, make sure you guys are subscribed and have the bell on so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. You're very vocal. Do you eat the strawberries? <laughs>